Hello and welcome to Dubai Trains. And in this video, I want to share with you a trouble-free way to make a bench work. Now, whether you're looking for a base for your diorama or a larger module or an entire bench work, I found a product that simply arrives by mail and only requires to be glued together. So no sawdust, no hauling around heavy lumber, no complex bench work designs. Let's have a look. So here's how the product arrives by mail. And if you unpack it, you have these baseboards and then a lot of these support ribs that slot in there. The material is MDF and everything is laser cut to a very high accuracy. And then so all these pieces glue together to create smaller, I would call them submodules. And then these submodules, you can glue them together to create a larger module. And then all the larger modules eventually fill the space and then you have your bench work for your entire layout. As you see here, there's a lot of different sizes of these standard modules. And because of that, you can fit the, the modules together in a shape that's tailored to the space you have. The modules stand on these legs and use these leg braces, and you can create different heights with these legs. So in this shot here, you see some legs, you can put them on the floor. And here I had some cabinets, so I made shorter legs uh, so they can be on the cabinet. And that really shows the, the versatility of the system. Another neat feature is that some modules like this one, you can make lower. So if you want to have a river here, uh, in my case, a bridge that goes over a very shallow creek, you can have that. And here is another location where I only wanted a part of the benchwork lower, because we're going to have a coal trestle that's going to be located right here. There's a road here and then a coal trestle here. And it's actually going to be a main line that's going to curve off over there. So we have these filler pieces that are made especially for this shape to fill in the otherwise squared lowered sections. Now this obviously all still needs to be glued in place, but it definitely paints picture. So as you see here, I unbolted one of the larger modules and it's really a quick and easy to do. And it's very light. I built this entire layout by myself. And as you can see, I can just move it from one side to the other. And this is all because it's a laser cut light wood and it's engineered to be lightweight as well. So now we're here on the underneath side of the layout and this is another advantage. Here's a leg, it's all upside down, um, but here's a leg. And if you plan it a bit before gluing these braces on, you can position this leg anywhere you want. And that's also why there's a gap here because this leg's going to be over here. So you see it gives a tremendous amount of, of flexibility where you install it. And if we look on how it would actually work, you see there's a rib here and there's a surface area here at the bottom. And the surface area would be uh, would rest on the, uh, the top of the bench work and this rib here would line up with the subframe, thus carrying all the support and, and, and conveying it from the module to the support to the leg. So let's have a look under the layout because I keep talking about bolting stuff together. And that's what's happening right here. So we have one module here that's from this point this one, onwards. And we have another module that starts here and that goes in that direction. I also bolted the leg. So here you see a leg brace and here you see a leg brace. And you see I bolted this one. I bolted it here in this direction and I also bolted it in this direction on the other side. Can't see that from here. So you see, I did not even put all bolts in yet. I will later, but it's still holding up. And why is that? Because of the clamping force of the bolts, there's so much friction between these two layers of MDF it doesn't move. That's what holds up the weight. So I will put in more bolts, but it's not really necessary. And these are just your M6 bolts. And do note, I use washers on both sides just to increase the surface area of the nut and the bolt itself. So when all the modules are glued and bolted together, it's completely flat and it's very rigid. So now we need to talk about cost and value. Now, the cheapest way right off the bat to build your own bench work is just to go to the local hardware store buy all these sheets, haul them in your car, get into your house. And then if you have a saw table or a workshop, it's to, it's to make it all there. I actually have a custom layout design tool that you can buy on my Patreon page. Have a look at that. If that is the way you want to go, go the cheapest way. But that's not what we're looking at here. And that's where value comes in. Because what you get with this benchwork system uh, from ABR Model Works is a, a finished, fast and clean product. It's all designed and engineered in a way that it works. And the modular system has a lot of pieces. I don't have all of them. I just have some of the more basic ones. So it will fit into any room. 
and it's a very clean way to make a benchmark. I made it all in here, and I didn't vacuum once yet. There's no sawdust, there's none of that, there's no noise. Uh, you can do it inside, and I think that's also a big benefit. And on top of that, it's, it's a lightweight system. I didn't realize that up front, but I actually made all this by myself, and my back is still fine. And it all arrives by mail. I mean, you go to abrmodelworks.com, and it's either on the website or you contact Chris through the website. You select the pieces you want, the sizes, you just puzzle it together, and then it all just arrives by mail. That's it. You know, it, it just, it's as simple as that. For the legs, I did go to a hardware store to get the lumber for the legs. I got it all cut there. So again, it's a very easy, straightforward, and, and clean way. And I think that's the real value of the system. So now that's out of the way, let's look at some assembly details just to get an idea of how this all fits together and what you would be doing when you buy this system. So it obviously all starts with these baseboards. Now, no matter you have a, a very small module, a long one, or a bigger one like this, the steps will be all the same. So the first thing I would do when you get all these pieces is to test fit them. So you see there's a slot on the top side of some of the panels and a slot on the bottom side of the other ones. And test fit them and just to make sure they all fit correctly. Then we have four different panels that go all around this module. They're going to be the front, the back, the left, and the right side. And I normally test fit them as well, especially if it's the first module I'm building in this size or the first one ever, just to get an idea of how it works. You want to have, in the end, glue uh, on all the tabs in all the places where glue can be. So I first do the entire baseboard like this. Now for the bracing in the middle, take note of the insert the slot in the middle that that's pointed upwards for the first one. And so you want to glue all the sides of the tabs like I'm doing here. And then also the uh, slot itself, the, the remaining section, because that's where the other piece is going to fit in. So I just repeat it for the other identical bracing. Then it's onto the one that slides on top. So again, you glue all the tabs and then the uh, slots, you put some glue there as well. Do both sides, don't forget to do the back. Slide it in place, press it, and that's about it. So I do store them and let them dry with some weight on top just to ensure that it's going to be completely flat. And also, I am a little bit liberal with my glue. So after it's dry, this is what you get. And then you want to be gluing on all the four sides of the fascia. So again, you put glue at all the tabs on the main module and glue on the panels themselves. And don't forget the side of the tabs there in the middle. Press it in place and that's that. I do add some painter's tape just to keep it all tight and snug in place for the first 20 minutes for the glue to dry. I guess you could use clamps for this, but I find that these 90 degree angle clamps are quite expensive and just to buy them for a one-off project is not really my style. So then it's just a matter of rinse and repeat. Do this four times and let it dry intermittently and that's that. And once everything is dry, this is a very rigid structure. I do note that some of the inner braces have the same size as the outer panels, but this does not mean that they're the same. So the outer braces have two slots for bolts, and the inner braces do not. So I hope I explained that well. So what's next, I hear you asking? Well, there's a few options. I can uh, lay the track directly here on the MDF, but I'm not going to do that. You can put foam uh, on top if that's your, your MO. But in my case, I'm going to use this small stack of cork, lay this on top of everything, and then start with the track. Now, don't forget also to go to abrmodelworks.com for more information, if you want to see how this progresses, check the link that you see on the screen right now. Thank you guys all for watching. That's it for today. Bye bye. Looking to support the model railroading community? Check out the Dubai Trains Patreon page to find out how you can contribute.